Hello students, as I mentioned in my last video that Karnataka High Court has passed an order and directed KSLU to conduct examination and also to notify students what will be the mode of examination. So this is a notification that we are seeing coming from KSLU, Karnataka State Law University. This is dated 24th of February, 2022. Two days back, this notification is being published. And the subject of this notification is timetable of three years, LLB second and fourth semesters courses, examination of March, 2022. That got postponed because of the pending court's order. And finally, High Court of Karnataka ordered KSLU or rather directed KSLU to conduct the examination. So this is uh, what we have got in the notification that with reference to this above mentioned subject, as for the directions that they received from High Court of Karnataka in this writ petition. If you are interested, you can also visit Karnataka High Court's website and see details of this writ appeal that was filed in Karnataka High Court Division Bench. And as for that decision of Academic Council meeting, the mode of con examination that they have decided is offline. So you will be having offline examination for both second as well as fourth semester three years LLB program from KSLU. And High Court of Karnataka, by the way, gave that a privilege to KSLU that they can decide on the mode of examination, whether it's online, offline, and what mode of exam that they are going to opt for. So they have decided to go for offline examination. And in this regard, the final timetable for three years LLB second and fourth semester is prepared and sent for bringing to the knowledge of all the concerned staff and students for smooth conduct of examination. Further, it is also clarified that mandatory notice period of 60 days is already complied as examinations were notified earlier. Before this also, there was another notification. I also uh, uploaded a video relating to that, right? On 17-9-2021, also there was one notification. So if we consider this notification, 60 days notice has already been uh, completed. Students already had an idea that any time examinations might be there. And especially after High Court's ordered or after High Court passed this direction, students were pretty much sure that some or the other, there will be some exam definitely. Right, so this is uh, what the notification is all about. And here is the timetable. Let me just rotate it. Yeah, so this is timetable for uh, second and fourth semester. You can see the semester over here. These are papers for second semester. Constitution 2, it's starting from 7th and it will end on 18th. So kind of Constitution 2, you have on 7th of March. Contract 2, 9th of March. Labor Law, 11th of March. Property Law, 14th of March. Mohammedan Law, 16th. And you have Canada on 18th of March. I have already uh, made detailed playlists for Constitution 2, Contract 2, and Property Law. For Labor Law also, here and there, one or two videos you will get. So if you are looking for uh, these videos, you can definitely check the playlist. If you want notes for any of these subjects, you can WhatsApp me on 84862464493, and I will try to help you. For fourth semester, these are the subjects and it is starting from eighth, it is ending on 17th. You have public international law on eighth. There are one or two videos or maybe three, four videos relating to public international law. There is one playlist which you can check for that. You also have human rights and practice on 10th of March, insurance law on 12th, Banking law on 15th and RTI right to information on 17th. So this is the timetable which is being published from KSLU. Exam will be starting from 2 p.m. and will end at 5 p.m. So all the best for your exam. And I will also try to post a video on answer writing tips, how you can write better answers to secure good marks. So stay tuned for that. 
make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.